this is shown in this video is to understand the difference between a procedure and a function. So the very first difference between a procedure and a function is that a procedure may or may not return any value. <coughs> but a function will surely return one value. This is the very most and uttermost difference between both of these. And other differences would be drilled down from this very basic difference. Now a procedure may have a return statement in it, but this return statement is very much different from a function's return statement. The, uh, when a procedure have a, has a return statement, it will just abruptly uh, return it back to the calling environment, <coughs> whereas a function would have a return clause in its uh, definition itself, where we would, we would define return and then data type, like what will this function be returning to. It is mandatory for the function to return something to the calling environment. So that will surely contain a return statement but with an expression like return um, a variable or a number or a character or something like that. It would have a return and an expression whereas a procedure will have just a return and a semicolon. Now a procedure would be executed with uh, executor such as you can write execute and the procedure name pass various uh, parameters if there are any and the procedure would be executed. But for executing a function, you would need a variable to catch what the function returns. You know, if the function is returning a number, you need to have a variable of a number data type which, and which would be assigned to the function and then the output of the function would be assigned to that variable. And a procedure cannot be called from a select statement because from select statement if you are calling something it needs to have a return value. So a procedure doesn't may, may or may not return anything so it cannot be called from a select statement. Even if the procedure with those out parameters cannot be called from a select statement. But a function if it, if it does not have a DML or any DDL statement inside the, inside, inside the function you can call it through a select statement also. So basically we'll be using the procedure when we have some processing to do, you know, update some tables, insert some data into the table, some procedure, some procedural kind of things, then we would use a procedure when, whereas we would use a function when we, we want to do some calculations or something kind of that, where, you know, after doing some, a few steps, we would be returning some to something back to the calling environment at that places functions would be used. I'll just show you how to call up from the procedure and how to call a function through a very small example. <coughs> Over here, I'm creating a procedure called as p test return. What I'm doing is I'm just simply taking, oh, sorry, I'm just simply taking three variables: variable one, two, and the return variable. <coughs> I'm assigning ten to the first variable, twenty to the second variable, and then I'm checking that if variable one is greater than two, then just print both of the variables and return. This is what I wanted to show. As you can see, I've just written a return statement. So if variable 1 would be greater than 2, which in this case is, it will just print the two variables and return back to the calling environment. It would not do this other steps of return, return variable is equal to variable 1 plus 2 and anything sort of this. So I'll just compile this, see the procedure is compiled and now when you execute it, what you get is 10 and 20. <coughs> what happened is, as soon as it encountered this return statement, it threw back the call to the calling environment. So that is the return of a procedure. It is very much different from a function. You cannot return something like a return variable one. If you do this, you will be getting an error. Compilation error. Yeah, it says in a procedure, return statement cannot contain an expression. So you can just return it, but you cannot return any variable or value or something like that. So it's very much different from the return of a function. But in a case of function, what we return something is like this. I'm just taking two variables, variable one and two. I'm assigning them values. It's always good to assign values to the variables in the begin section, not in the declaration section, because uh, you know if there is a size over here, like variable number one, and still if you are assigning ten, it would take, it would not raise a compilation error. But at one time again, you will get an error. So it is always good to you know uh, declare variable over here in the begin section. So see, as I'm showing here, here in the return statement, I have um, variable one plus variable two. I'm doing something. I'm 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 doing a calculation. I'm returning that calculation. So such kind of return is only possible from a function. I'll just compile this. So it's compiled. I'm declaring a variable with number v1, and then I'm executing the. Uh, I'm just executing the function. I'm taking the output of this function in this variable v1, and then I'm printing the variable. I'll just declare the variable. I'll then execute this, and now I'll print the value of v1. V1 is ten. 
means 30. So as we can see, it did 10 plus 20 and gave us 30. Also, when as I told in the as we discussed in this uh, previous slide that if there is no DML or DDL statement in a function, you can just uh, call it from select statement. So I'll just show you. It is like the select function name. If there is any variables to be passed, you can pass it over here from dual. Dual is the table which is given to us uh, by default. So this is 30. As you can see, I just executed the function from the select statement. So if you are using it in a PLSQL block, you can simply write like select function name into the into some variable and start using it. You know, no need to uh, declare the variable, get that value, and do something like that. We can just get it from the select statement. But please do make sure that you don't have a DML or a DDL statement in this. A select statement is allowed, but not a DML or DDL. Then only you can call a function through a select statement. <coughs> when you into is not allowed over here so yes this gives output but when you use a procedure in a select statement you really don't get anything you get something like it is an invalid identifier it is not uh, it cannot a procedure cannot be called from a select statement like this you need to just write execute procedure name and the procedure will be executed as shown here yeah so this is it guys this is the basic difference between a procedure and function hope you enjoy watching this video please do let me know your thoughts in the comments please do like share and subscribe thank you